seven. Fascinated by mentalists. People that can read your mind. Mm-hmm. Read your body language. Yeah, they're clever, aren't they? I've seen a couple we've ha- act before, and they do things you can't explain. Now, look, you know, every time they come on the radio, it's the same stuff. They get you to write something down, and then they guess it, and it's the same thing mm-hmm. over and over again. We get a lot of requests for mentalists to come on, but um, I wanted to change things up a little bit. We had a guy come on. Now, this was last week. His name was Phoenix. Now, you can visit mentalistphoenix.com if you want more information. He's actually really good. He's amazing. Right? But what we did, this is what happened. Whipper didn't know what was going on. We had a pre-recorded break that we'd already done, and we played that to where That was Jay-Z's bringing up the backup album to Beyonce's Lemonade. Yeah, yeah. You didn't know. Nope. When we came out of the song last Friday, we actually played that break, right? But... When we played that to air, in the studio here, you thought The Mentalist was going live to air. Yeah, I did. Now, this is what happened. I thought, well, why don't we get The Mentalist to look at Whipper and he can come up with a couple of things, Mm -hmm. maybe read his mind. And then I thought, well, why don't we get him to maybe read his mobile number out live on air? (laughs) And then why don't we take it one step further? I found out because Whipper sometimes, the girls here that work, at work, he says, can you go and get me bacon egg roll and gives them his pin number. He didn't know that we had his PIN number. I told him to do his PIN number and reveal it live on Mm -hmm. air. Whipper thought this was going live. This is what happened. Okay, we've got uh, Sydney's premier mentalist in here. He's a mind magician as well, and I'm just fascinated how these people do it. His name is Phoenix. Thank you very much for coming. Phoenix, Phoenix. welcome. Can we go go back to the start? Uh, How did it all begin for you? Uh, I picked up a book off my dad's bookshelf and he was a businessman and I was eight years old and the only book that had a lot of pictures in mm. that was uh, a body language book. So I used to sit in a lot of his meetings and try and learn to read people's body language, which I left it for a long time after that once I kind of became like a second language and uh, yeah, sure. in my 20s I picked up the other areas, which is hypnosis and all sorts of things. We're a little bit nervous because we, we did get to meet you outside the studio. Now you've yeah. asked a couple of questions. What what would you like to do with us? We want to test your skills. Well, Whip is a lot closer. I might get him to yep. do something here. Sure. Basically, what are we I going have, with? Uh, well, as you can see, we've got five different shapes here. A star, square, circle, wavy lines, and a plus sign. Yep. What I get you to do is to come over and basically put one of these behind your hands, hold yep. it out like that. So I've got I've got one card, and I'm taking the rest of them and hiding them. Um, I want you to think of your, your, your banking pin code. Yeah. Okay, start something up top. The first number's up top in the first row, is yep. it? Probably, uh, roughly in the middle. Two. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't go too hard. It's only four. It's only four digits in it. Uh, yeah. Now, now people typically go down in lines yeah. if they want it to. But yeah. remember, it's easy. Next, next line there will be another digit. So, um, you're looking over this say at six. Hard to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now he's a prankster, so he's got to go in the same digit twice a second after that. So it'll be two six. I'm not in a position to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't say the next one. Okay, all right. You sure? Well, you can't. Go on, have a now, crack. I'll, I'll what is it? What's the last one? I know, you say the last one, and I won't say. Well, I narrowed those shapes down to two different shapes. Didn't I? There was a plus sign and a star. Look at your industry. You had to have chosen a star without a doubt. Last digit would be... <laughs> no, hang on a minute. Stop. <laughs> I'm not in a position to say. It's in this bit number. you can't. And I will change source. banks, change my cards. Is there anything we'll, else? Or can you just looking at Whipper, is just, there anything that you can he's do? He's actually given a lot. See, people drop their barriers at this stage. Hold your hand up like that. Yeah. Uh, o, oh, o, four, one, three. <laughs> Six. You might have to blank this out. Zero, seven. <laughs> oh. It's his mobile number. Nah. He's We're it. accepting calls right so now. You, he's just <laughs> Live it, on air it's and impossible. Your well, how could, who, who Phoenix. Known, who would have known Rome? Thank you very much for coming in, mate. That is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, Men- Mentalistphoenix.com.au. No Westpac 2, if you need to know. Is this a stitch up? It's a stitch up. <laughs> <laughs> You're not live on air, mate. We've got another break going. Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't know what's going on. My God.
Very good. It's good Very to know good. you pinned them and out. I, I would change that if I was you. You know, I will, because it's, uh, it's one thing that it didn't go to air, <laughs> but who can you really trust around the office? <laughs> Great well, news. I've just drained a couple of grand out of there, guys. There's so no money in it. There the bar's on me today, too. <laughs> well done. You can go check that out, the video, and Whipper's face on Facebook. Fitzy and Whipper's Facebook page. It's Fitzy and Whipper.